So first of all, complete paralysis is not a thing. There's something here we didn't really understand. Hey Susie, check it out. Look at my toe. Up, down, up, down. Stop everything. Stop everything right now. I eloquently said, holy shit. And, you know, I'll never live that down again. This is, how are you doing this? Close your eyes, do it again. Fast forward now, we have over 20 people who were supposed to be motor paralyzed and all of them have moved voluntarily with the epidural stimulator. Before I was implanted, I mean, honestly, our goal was to stay alive for the day. Now I stand. Singing is, oh, that's me, that's my everything. Now um, that I've been implanted, I can push out my notes now. I think it's been in the past few years that we really start to understand the true impact of epidural stimulation. Being paralyzed is more than just uh, being confined to a wheelchair. They may not die from the accident, but they're always sick. If you can do something that incrementally changes their lives, you are not only changing their lives, but you're changing their entire family's life and you're also changing the cost to the healthcare system. Looks good. Really? Pressure stable, 16 over 64. So you made my day, thank you. <laughs> made my life. Since being implanted with a stimulator, my blood pressure is regulated, my infections are better. I can't tell you the last time I went to a doctor's office for any medical issue relating to paralysis or being in a wheelchair. Every morning that I wake up, I, my body feels warm. I feel my legs humming, I feel my feet humming. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, that twinge turned into a full movement. And you know, that movement was a couple movements. It's incremental small steps, and that's how we train. And I stood at my wedding. Being able to do that, to, to have the first dance with her and my mom, that was huge. What a treat it is to feel alive. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. But since I've come on home, well, my body's been a mess. And I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress. Won't you come on over? Why don't you come on over, Valerie?